Hey guys, welcome to APG News. My name's Alex, and I haven't done this in a while because, you know, stuff gets in the way, and I've been busy, but I finally got my chance to do the news again for the week, and let's begin with... <laughs> let's begin with some Pokemon news. Nintendo finally revealed a Belly Bolt, a new Pokemon coming to the Paldea region. It is an electric Pokemon, and it has the ability Electromorphosis and static and it's an electric frog so that means now you can have a full team of all frogs you, know, you got seismitoad polytoad all the uh, poly world poly wrath you get the idea anyway this is an electric pokemon like i said you know it expands and contracts its electric its electric body to generate electricity it has an easygoing nature it doesn't notice an opponent until it's attacked Kind of reminds me of like Quagsire. And it has a new ability called Electromorphosis. This new ability is the first time in which we're getting this ability. The point of this ability is when Belly Bolt gets hit, it charges its next electric type attack. That sounds pretty good. Next up, we have G4. It was revived last year. G4 is a gaming centric TV channel by, I believe, Comcast, and not even a year into their revival, and Comcast has already shut down the project. The Comcast chairman and CEO Dave Scott says in a memo that viewership is low and the network has not achieved a sustainable financial result. That is why it has been canceled, and it is effective immediately. Now, I don't think that the employees unfortunately knew what was going on they just had to you know figure it out on their own not sure about that one but it is sad to see you know gaming centric television going away but you know bring it back online do it on youtube twitch maybe that can revive it next up we have ea they said that they will be shutting down online services for four of more of their games in early 2023. These games are Army of Two, The Devil's Cartel, Army of Two, The 40th Day, a bunch of Command and Conquer games, and the original Mirror's Edge, NBA Jam on Fire Edition, and Shank 2. So if you like playing these games online, you better hurry because EA is, you know, pulling the, pulling the strings on it. Next up, we have on the movie side of stuff, Harrison Ford is officially joining the MCU. According to reports, he will take on the role of General Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross. This character originally appeared in the MCU in The Incredible Hulk in 2008. Rumor has it that Harrison Ford will take on this role in the upcoming Captain America New World Order. And obviously, this character... General Thaddeus is known for the Thunderbolts, which Marvel is making a movie about. So we'll see what happens there. Hopefully we'll see Harrison Ford there. How's that man still working? I don't know. We finally have news on the DualSense Edge. It will release on January 26th of next year. It will have a $200 price point. That is $20 more than the Xbox Series Elite controller. It will include a obviously the controller, a USB braided cable, two standard caps, two high dome caps, two low dome caps, half dome back buttons, back buttons, a connector housing, and a charging case. So you can have it all nice and pretty. Pre-orders begin on October 25th. Hopefully we can get our hands on this controller because the Xbox Elite controller is like the best pro controller out there and we love it here. And we'll just see if Sony's controller stacks up to it. Razer is getting into the Android tablet cloud gaming scene. They are releasing the Razer Edge. It comes in two variants. There is a Wi-Fi model and there is 5G model that is exclusive to Verizon. It costs the base model, the Wi-Fi model costs $400, but there's no price yet on the 5G model. Maybe it'll be from 450 to 500. I'm guessing, hopefully it'll be the 450 but we'll just have to see. This tablet will ship with the Razer Kishi V2 Pro, which is a slightly modified version of the Kishi V2. It has a dedicated headphone input in the remote and the controller. The tablet is a 144 Hertz, 2400 by 1080 AMOLED display, and it has a Snapdragon G3X Gen 1 processor. 
Now, it's doing cloud gaming. Hopefully, you maybe you can install some things on it, but we'll just have to see. This comes in lieu of LG doing their reveal of a cloud gaming device, but we'll just have to wait and see if this is worth it. And to wrap this up, yesterday Capcom did a Resident Evil showcase and they showed off a bunch of goodies coming to Resident Evil games. They showed us the new DLC for Resident Evil Village called The Winter's Expansion. It will be available separately or if you bought the Resident Evil Village Gold Edition package, then you can get it there. It also, this DLC includes a third person mode for the campaign new content for the game's action-packed mercenaries mode that even lets you play as Lady Demistricus herself. I'm sorry I said that. And it will be released on October 28th. So next week, Capcom said that Resident Evil Reverse will be coming, is still coming out on October 28th, and it'll support crossplay, and they showed off new gameplay for it. Although I'm not really that excited to play that one. I'll give you that one. They also said that the Nintendo Switch Cloud versions of Resident Evil Village, RE7, RE2 Remake, and RE3 Remake, they finally released their plans on when they want to release them. And they'll be coming in different dates. For example, Resident Evil 2's Cloud version for the Switch will come out on November 11th, and RE3 comes out on November 18th. And finally, RE7 comes out on December 16th. All of this is coming this year. And also, those for those Mac users, Resident Evil Village will be coming out on October 28th. And this game on Mac takes complete advantage of Apple Silicon. So, you know, it's built from the ground up just for Mac. And what we've all been waiting for, they finally released a gameplay trailer for Resident Evil 4 Remake. All the goodies, you know, I can't wait to play that game and be called Hijo de Puta Cabron by the, by the villagers. Love that. It'll be releasing on March 24th, 2023 for Xbox, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, and PC. Pre-orders begin today or yesterday or whatever. I just, I just can't wait. Resident Evil 4 is like the best Resident Evil there is. Period. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed these news updates that I have given you. Hopefully, we can keep doing them and life doesn't keep getting in the way. And we'll catch you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Bye.